every once in a while we get uh, a new vulnerability exploited, a new type of malware, and we all need to rush into our systems, uh, our curator system, and see, well, have we been affected by it? The situation is a lot easier when you get good IOCs for it, like IP addresses, uh, URLs, and hashes. But many times, you don't have that. Uh, sometimes you need to detect the patterns of a particular f you know, traffic going in order to reveal the presence of that particular malware. And that's where Jara rules comes by. This series of videos is about how to use a new excellent app on Curita that transform Jara as well as Sigma rules into content that Curita can consume. And you don't have to know anything about either Jara or Sigma to leverage this. So if we look in this uh, particular uh, repository, GitHub, uh, on Jara rules, we'll see that there is a whole bunch of things that are actually generated. In fact, uh, for Jara, there is a guy called uh, Froiland Ross that I, you know, I don't know how he does it, but almost every time I've seen a new vulnerability that says move it or this or that, the guy comes up with a Jara rule, and that comes on those Jar dot uh, Y A R. Uh, uh, definitions uh, now and, and this is extraordinary as you can see I can, I can be scrolling for quite a quite some time and, and you can find anything in here how do you translate that into something that curator can consume how can I transform this into kind of a AQL searches that you can make into your curator and find out whether you have been bitten by this or not in the same way, there is a repository f called Sigma HQ, in which has a tons of rules. Now, these are Sigma rule, which is the standard, the open source standard for defining rules for detection. Uh, these are not just patterns. These can be other means of detecting a particular uh, uh, malware or, or attack that that is actually happening. As you can see, some things are very fresh, like from yesterday, and some things uh, really depends on on the nature. But uh, this, this again, the, the problem is, okay, I I, uh, I know how to create rules in Curator, uh, but I don't know Sigma. Well, this tool is also about converting those Sigma rules into Curator rules that you can ingest. And in particular, Jara rules are so good because they allow you to do textual or binary searches for patterns into your logs or other entities uh, that you perform that search upon. Now, this package was created, this app, let me go to my Curator system. Let me actually go here onto the main page of the actual app. This is called Jara and Sigma Rules Manager and was created by a gentleman called Nigel Sood and as part of this series of videos I even recorded an interview with him so you can hear from his own words uh, uh, what he went through and why this is actually so important. We will see there's going to be a dedicated video for the Java as, the, as well as the Sigma part of the tool but you'll see that uh, from the Jara component you can import those Jara rules from GitHub, very nice uh, interface to do so. And then you can either dump a payload here and paste it in here, do an AQL search, you may have a safe search that does that, or upload a particular file, uh, and then you can perform a scan, you can select what rules are you selecting uh, that with, and uh, for example, uh, in, in here you can, you know, and I go more into the namespaces and all this part and then you can run a scan and that will tell you whether there is uh, content, malicious content that matches that Jara rule or not. And on the Sigma part of the app it allows you to convert, to go from GitHub or to paste in here a particular 
sigma rule that you are interested and have it converted both to an AQL, so you can also perform searches if you want to, or directly into a curator rule. And why this is so important? Speed is in the essence in here. When you get a new attack and, and everybody's worried about whether you're affected or not, you, you cannot wait for IBM or anybody else to release uh, curated rules you know, for it. Uh, there might be, you know, like, like we saw recently, I, re I released a, a, a video on a package that IBM created for the tool attacks, uh, but you don't have to wait for that, and, and, and you don't have to. Once IBM publishes a more performance-oriented type of package, well, you can go ahead and replace it uh, w with that one. So this is the introductory video. In the next video, we're going to go all about the Jara component, then the Sigma, and finally the interview with Nigel Suit.